what is up everybody out there in YouTube land I am bringing you a video in case there's some of you out there like me that like to do some crazy stuff like put an 8 cell in an Arma car um, but if you are like me this video is for you so here we have our 8 cell lipo right so yes it's doable check this out because I have not seen this on YouTube so you got your 8 cell lipo okay now you need a charger for your 8 cell lipo because unfortunately your spectrum is not going to work i have a spectrum 400 watt like the big bad boy and it only goes up to six cell which is cool because i mean that's usually what um, rc cars deal with so this is kind of like out of bounds you know what i mean like this isn't really something that people deal with and that's why it's a special project but i love special projects i like seeing what comes out of stuff and if you're like me, then you will appreciate this video because it shows you how to do this kind of stuff. So anyways, here you have your 8 cell. Now you need a special uh, charger. This one's called the Toolkit RC. I got this off of Amazon. <coughs> and it does up to 8 cell, 1 8 cell. And here is the box for it. And <coughs> I don't know much about charging 8 cell batteries and going outside of like Spectrum and Traxxas and all that. I don't know a lot about that because I don't really venture outside of that. So when I got this it was just this box right here. It had none of these wires or anything and um so that was a bummer and I was like well how am I supposed to charge it? I thought it would come with a charger. It's a charger right? But it leaves this open. This is the XT60 plug you have the option of either doing this up to 30 volt um and or you can plug it in on the side over here usb the usb didn't give me enough power to charge it kept saying input too low so i had to figure out a way to get this into the wall now fortunately toolkit does sell their own uh charging adapter it's 180 watts it's perfect so you can buy that, wait a couple days, and you'll have yourself a, a charger to wall, you know, plug. What I did is I got a laptop adapter, which is only like 19 bucks or something, as opposed to the 50 for the actual charger. And then I bought an extension. You can make your own too, off of Amazon. That came with a XT60 plug to a 5.5 millimeter female. To a 5.5 millimeter male adapter so you need to have because a lot of these laptop adapters come with you know four millimeter seven millimeter and all this stuff it needs to be 5.5 or whatever you want to do to make it match up but that's what matches up with mine and i got to go into the wall over there so now we're charging and i'm kind of cheating here i i grind i dremeled off the edges of this ic3 and so I can shove it in there into the XT60 port. But today I got some more XT60, so I'm actually going to change this to a to a real XT60. But it works. I mean, you just jam it in there and it charges. So, but when you're working with this much power, it's better. I was going to do the same thing back here and rig it, but when you're dealing with this kind of power, and I just don't want it to blow up or mess or ruin anything, is what I, what I'm really trying to say. So. Alrighty guys, and um, that's it for now, and once I get this bad boy back in, I'll get a video of the 8-cell Typhon, and um, we'll see how fast she goes. Alright guys, if you have any questions, let me know. See ya.